Hey loves, welcome to Heart to Heart Love Messages. My name is Crystal. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you are already subscribed here, welcome back. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the message because I have a very, very special, very, very important message for you all tonight, okay? So as you know, we are currently under this energy of this new moon in Gemini. And this new moon is really, really bringing in very, very powerful, very, very deep soul level communication and important information that is relevant to your journey. So this energy is really, really going to help your connection deepen in the most unexpected ways. All right. So in the upcoming weeks, the events that will be taking place will be very, very dependent upon how you have been learning, shaping, and shifting your mindset for really the past six months. So if you take a look back at where you were in the beginning of this year, the intentions that you set for your life and for your love life, this energy here will really serve as a checkpoint um, to really, really help you catapult this energy forward here. So everything that's coming in towards you is going to be massive. It's going to be life-changing. Um, the communication, okay, it's going to be very, very important and it's going to bring in very, very big, happy changes, okay? I am aware that everyone is at different points of their journeys, so if you are at this place where you're kind of um, new to this or you're setting your intentions, this energy right here is very, very important, okay? Very powerful, very potent. So this is the perfect time for you to set the intentions for what it is that you want, especially if you are navigating a twin flame journey. As you know, the Gemini energy is the energy of the twin, okay? It carries that power of two. So this energy will not only be infused within your life, but also your person's life as well. As you know, the twin flame journey is a very, very um reflective journey okay so let's go ahead and get into the message i do feel as if the divine masculine has a very very powerful very very heartfelt message the energy has been extremely intense okay maybe you have been feeling it as well but i definitely feel like there's a very very powerful message that needs to be relayed at this time so i'm going to go ahead and pull a few messages from the heart to heart love messages cards just to see how your person is currently feeling about you and or your connection and how this new moon energy is directly um, influencing your life and your connection at this time okay so let's go ahead and get into it wow the first message we have is, you have me exactly where you want me. Wow. <laughs> so Divine Feminine, if you have been wondering how your person is doing on the other side of this connection, I'm picking up that you may be at a distance from your person. Your person wants you to know that the energy in this connection is rising. And it's rising in such a way that your person is really, really coming through in this place of surrender, okay? I'm also getting transformation, okay? Your connection has really, really been through the ups and downs here, okay? And I'm feeling like in the recent past, there was a shift here that happened. But Divine Feminine, I'm getting that this shift happened on your end. You being the feminine energy, you tapping into your internal world has really, really shifted the dynamic within this connection here. Your person wants you to know that you have them exactly where you want them here. Okay, I'm getting that you also set intentions because I'm getting manifestation. You set very specific intentions 
for your connection, for your love life, even for your person here. But it's the way in which you did it that's different this time here. I'm getting that instead of you projecting your manifestations or your intentions on your person here, you put your intentions out into the universe and you then begin to become this version of yourself here. So instead of you feeling like you had to seek love, instead of you feeling like you had to seek happiness, you have realized that you are love, that you are happiness, that none of these things are actually separate from you here. And I'm getting your person, I just got heart eyes. Your person is looking at you really through the lens of admiration. They are literally enamored with you, Divine Feminine, at this time. They want you to know that they're literally dying to connect with you. They're dying to be close to you because your energy is coming through so radiant and so potent. Um, I'm also getting you maybe looking extremely beautiful at this time here, okay? Even if your person um, doesn't have physical access to you here, I'm feeling like if they have access to you visually, your energy is just coming off extremely radiant, okay? They're literally wanting to be close to you. They're wanting to be very, very vulnerable. They're wanting to be very intimate with you here. I'm also getting in the way that they communicate. They really want you to know that whatever it was that you were saying to them has been sticking out to them. Whatever intentions that you set for your connection, the way that you went about it this time, there's a vast difference between what you did this time and the energy that you're emitting this time in comparison to the way that you would communicate with your person in the past here. Your person has noticed a shift in you. You are literally showing up as the person of your own dreams. And this is lighting a fire under your person to where they really, really want to be close to you at this time here, <laughs> okay? I'm getting that they literally, when they come in contact with you, you're going to feel as if your person is kind of eating out the palm of your hands here. Because a lot of the things that you have said to them, you felt like they were even falling on deaf ears. Maybe your person wasn't paying attention to you. No, your person has been listening to you here. Okay, and they're showing up at this time, letting you know that they are exactly where they need to be at this time here, even if you're at a distance from them here. Every single time you take a step in the direction of love, anytime you put your intentions out into the universe and you literally become that which you seek, your world is nothing but a mirror, okay? And your person is letting you know that you have them exactly where you want them at this time, okay? Very, very beautiful energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get the next message here. Wow. Wow, we have you're a reflection of me. Wow. So what I'm getting here is I just got major awakening, major aha moment, okay? So your person has definitely been doing some soul searching, Divine Feminine. I'm getting that you just pulling your energy back, you making this small shift. Okay, maybe it's just the way that you process information. I'm getting that this was an internal shift, okay? Something about your mind, something about the way that you think about it. I'm getting your energy coming through very, very light, very, very radiant. You having this detached kind of energy, still being very intertwined with your person, but no, really, really knowing your worth, okay? Really, really stepping into your power as that feminine, Stepping into that energy of magnetism, learning how to bring things to you, okay, without having to put in that action, using your mental power, using your intuition here. Your person is realizing that you are a reflection of them. So as they look back at the journey and see the not so great parts, the parts where you kind of reflect it back and show them that mirror image of what they were projecting onto you or what they were projecting onto the connection here. Your person is really, really realizing that you being their feminine counterpart, you're always going to show them the internal process. So the actions that they take, 
your natural position is to show them how they're showing up emotionally, how they're showing up intellectually, what their subconscious is actually projecting onto the connection here. So your person is realizing that as they begin to take action, okay, you naturally emotionally become more confident. And because Divine Feminine, you're showing up currently at this time, very confident, okay, very radiant, very beautiful, okay, very, very magnetic. Your person is, is knowing, they're feeling like this sense of confidence, like, yeah, my Divine Feminine is a reflection of me. We are one, okay? I am the masculine energy, I'm the action, okay? My Divine Feminine is the intuition, so it's almost as if you two are working as a team. There is very, very meticulous things that are happening on both ends of this connection at this time here. And you are reflecting that back to one another. You're masculine by putting in that action, by doing the work, and you by internally really, really becoming whole and becoming that of which you seek here, okay? This is very, very beautiful very beautiful i'm also getting that um there's something that you said to your person i'm getting that you're very very spiritually developed and there's something that you said to your person there's some type of message here that you gave them you felt like it went in one ear not the other but they've literally been applying this to their lives here and it's working okay so they're really really looking at you with with admiration they literally have heart eyes this is beautiful, okay? Very, very beautiful. There's a, a huge dynamic shift, a huge shift in the level of intimacy, a huge shift in the level of communication, and I'm just getting unconditional love here. Wow. Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have, I'm already committed to you. So I just got love versus loyalty. Wow. Okay, so I feel like Divine Masculine is at this place where they are actually exploring their feelings, okay? And in this process, <clears throat> excuse me, in this process that they're going through where they're exploring their feelings, okay, your person is really, really went through this thing where they were trying to identify what love actually is. I feel like in their recent past, they have really shifted. There's a lot of dead weight that's kind of dropped off of your person. There's a lot of cycles that they are actively closing out, some of them that they have permanently closed out here. And your person had to ask themselves, what love is? Because if they love these people, place, and things, for so long and they were able to either fall out of love or the love changed in some kind of way. They're asking themselves what love is and they're actually comparing these people, place, and things to this, to this otherworldly connection that they have with you here, to this soul contract that they have with you. And your person is showing up and realizing it's almost as if they've had an aha moment where they want you to know like, I've literally been committed to you from the day we cross paths. There has been no separation, regardless of the times when you have went out of contact, when, you know, your person was having, you and your person were having a great time, and then your energy was kind of stripped from their lives because you both had spiritual lessons to endure, okay? Your person has realized that there has never been an off switch they literally carry you within their heart space every single day, no matter where you are in this journey, okay? They have already been committed to you. Your person is realizing that they have been loyal to you from day one, okay? And they're kind of, you. they're really comparing this to other connections in their lives here. They're really sitting this connection high above anything that they have ever experienced in their lives here. It's deeper than love for them. This is, they're realizing this is a real soul contract. This is beyond anything that they have ever experienced here, okay? Wow. 
your person, if you're resonating with this message so far here, your person is definitely going to come back into your energy. If you have already, you know, been through your journey here and you've been navigating this journey together here, this is going to be a new person, okay? You may even look at your divine masculine like, who is this? Okay, um, they're going to be, just from their language, the way that they're going to be navigating their emotions, the way that they're going to be expressing these things to you here, this communication that's coming in, this new energy that's going to be infused in your connection, it's going to be more deep. Okay, it's going to be deeper. It's going to be raw. It's literally going to be their heart space. All of the things that you always wanted to hear your person say, all of the things that you even picked up on intuitively that they were not able to articulate. But Divine Feminine, you have this energy, you have this way of unscrambling what it is that your person says and you get right to their heart space. You have the ability to tap into their heart space and they know this. A lot of them did not admit this to you, but you have always known this and this is literally about to be affirmed, okay? Um, wow, the energy is really, really, really intense, okay? Your person is definitely um, getting to this point where they're realizing how important you are to them here, okay? This is gonna be a totally new person I'm getting, okay? This is literally the Divine Masculine 2.0, <laughs> okay? Beautiful energy. Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have love is my birthright. Wow, absolutely beautiful, okay? Your, your person is definitely healing. Your person is definitely showing up, realizing that there is no separation between them and love. A lot of them were really, really confused about what love is. And this stems all the way back from their childhood here. Okay, a lot of them went through, their, went through this process where they were trying to figure out how do they show love? How do they give love? What does love mean to them here? A lot of them never felt like they would actually find this love, this love that really set their souls on fire. Okay, and it's almost as if when you met them, your person, you set your person's heart on fire. You set their soul on fire. And because this was foreign to them, because this made them feel and this really awakened a part of them that was lying dormant within them, this was a foreign feeling to them. Okay, a lot of them were afraid of this. Instead of running into this, they ran from this. And now your person is at a place where more than anything in their lives, they want this. They want to feel this love. They want to connect. They want to be close. Okay, I just got come closer. Okay, your person wants to kind of fall into you. They really, really want to connect with you heart to heart. This is beautiful, beautiful energy okay i'm also getting a lot of masculines really having to navigate life from this place where they weren't really able to tap into their emotions and their heart has become weary their heart literally has become weary because the very thing that they need to sustain them is the thing that they have been running from for so long and now they see that there is no separation they know that they are love. They feel that they are worthy of love. They know that love is their birthright. So they almost feel deserving of this love that you have to offer them, Divine Feminine. And so now the way that they approach you and the way that um, they're going to communicate with you is going to be very, very reflective of that. Okay, so I'm getting extremely emotional communication coming in. Um, you may definitely see a side of your person that you have never seen before. Okay, I'm talking about very, very intimate conversations. They may even go into their past. 
They may really confirm some things that you've been feeling intuitively, Divine Feminine, because I'm picking up whoever this message is for, you have a very, very deep connection with your person where there's a lot of telepathic communication. There's been a lot of energetic healing that's kind of taking place behind the scenes here. And there's a lot of things that you actually know about your person that they haven't confirmed, but have definitely been confirmed by a higher power for you because you are their divine counterpart, okay? But um, just hearing it from their mouths is going to take this to a totally new level here, okay? So yeah, your person is definitely showing up in this beautiful radiant energy, really ready, really ready to expand, really ready to connect from their heart space here in a way that you have never seen before. This is gonna be absolutely beautiful. Let's get the next message here. Wow, we have your heart is safe with me, OMG. Your person is showing up as a safe space, Divine Feminine. You have really, really been in this place where you have been wanting to just fall into your masculine. Um, and because you have really been able to hold space for them and allow them to go through this process here, um, it's almost as if you knew that they were a safe space here, but because they had a lot of growing to do, they had to grow into this. Your person is coming through letting you know that your heart is safe with them. They're ready now. They have the tools to really hold your heart. They really have the tools for you to fall into them, okay? Your heart is safe with them because your person is realizing that love is their birthright. They're not running from this anymore here. Okay, your person loves themselves unconditionally. Unconditionally, wow. I just got that your person has fell in love with themselves. And so this love that, that they're feeling, it's almost as if their cup is running over, their world is becoming more reflective. This very thing that they were so afraid of and that they thought that they would never have access to, they've tapped into it because they've surrendered to it. And now they are, they feel like they are a safe space. They want you to know that your heart is safe with them. So if you were worried about this, if you were worried about, can I really open up? Can I really go deep with them? Can we really get intimate? Can we get, can we really get raw? The answer is yes. Your person wants you to know that yes, okay? They're showing up as this healed, evolved, version because they want to be there for you, okay? Your person knows that that things had to change here. And they definitely realize that you are their one true love, okay? There's a lot of things that they got wrong on this journey, but you are the one thing that your person feels as if that, they, that they've got right. And they want to show you this. Okay, in a way that they have never shown you before. Let's get into the next, the last message here. Wow, this energy is so intense and so beautiful. Wow. The last message is we're in this together. There's that twin energy coming through again. So there's a deep, I feel like you both are at this place where like you're literally going to look into each other's eyes and feel this spark. It's going to be like you're crossing paths for the first time all over again here. You have this really, really deep love and this deep respect for one another. And as you begin to look at one another from a soul level, from your heart space, you understand that you had to go through the things that you went through here. Okay, you're going to even look back at the beginning of your journey, at those hard times, at those ugly parts, um, those parts where you really, really felt separate from your person. You really, really felt separate from love. You may have been insecure. Okay, you may have not felt worthy here. All of these triggering um, events that happen within your connection that literally were placed upon your path to get you to a place of wholeness both of you, okay? 
and you're going to look into each other's eyes and have such a deep respect and a deep love for your person that you have never felt before. Your person wants you to know that you're in this together. And I feel divine feminine, you're in this energy as well, where you look back over your person and you realize they're not separate from you. The same grace that you've given yourself on this journey, when you fall in short, when you have stepped into your lower self, the same grace that you've given yourself, you're going to be able to look at your person and give them that same grace. Wow. This is really twin energy coming through extremely potent. Um, if you resonated with this message, you can definitely expect very, very deep, very, very healing communication coming through. This is literally like a reintroduction of your person, okay? They will not be the same. The communication will not be the same. The intimacy will be deeper. It will be more raw. It will be more real. You both are literally merging at this time. This energy is so beautiful and so powerful. Okay, so these are the messages that I have for you tonight. If you resonated with this message, please be sure to hit the like button on your way out. All the information for personal readings as well as the information to join Patreon will be in the description box below and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!